Well, this is uh, another update on the on the uh, track day car. So uh, we're making the little gussets here for the the rods for the bonnet pins. Obviously, this is just a mock-up, and we're going to make a smaller version of it um, here. Um, and you can see that this is all two mil now stuff. This is the edge on it. This will probably have some kind of foam on it to help. That that one's been put in now as well as that one. Um, yeah. So um, I'm going to cut the front, the other front uh, headlight bowl out on there. You can see. And uh, also I'm going to open these holes up a little bit here. But I'll cut this headlight bowl out. I'll get that lined up once I've cut it out and uh, make a second one of those. There we are. I'll bring it back when we've got some more done. So I've uh, changed this, I've adapted this idea. I've used, I'm going to use this PVC fitting. You can see I've cut that down now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue them, the actual wedge on there, wedge onto there, and then hot glue them inside as well. You can maybe just see there's a little edge, and I'll just hot glue that to the, to the sides. So that's a job for tomorrow. As you can see, we've put the front back on again. Um, so this bonnet hopefully will sit up at that kind of angle. I'll just take this down for a second. Excuse me. There we go. Make sure it stays in. It's so light that bonnet. Unbelievable. Okay, so now you can see we've made these uh, gussets up, but just to mark them up. So all the sides are welded in here and here. And if I take this scuttle off, I'll show you how it sits. I'll take the scuttle off. So there's still a bit to do on that, so I can take the scuttle off there and you can see how we've actually done this, we've done it into a the reason we've done that is because obviously we want the wiper motor to sit here somewhere so we'll need the bit that comes up through there and it was too heavy anyway, it's two, two mil thick steel because this is two mil it's easier to weld it and get a good weld on there so that's basically how we've done it, so you can literally pull the front up or put it back on. Oh, so I'll have to put the camera down a second, guys. You'll just see the back of the car when I swung this back on. It takes two hands, I'm afraid. There we go. And there we go. And you can see both the vents are in. They just need Look the hole opening just slightly more now to get those two vents sorted. Um, and then we'll put two screws here, two here, and two in the centre, and possibly two down there. The idea of that is we can take it out and we can paint the whole car uh, during the winter the baby blue colour. Uh, the orange stripe, the golf stripes, will be done in, uh, in uh, uh, the wrap. The fight, the what do they call it? Vinyl wrap. It's only an orange stripe going down the centre and down the bonnet. Uh, <coughs> and um, we'll, when the car is painted, we'll just put when we put it in for the last time. We'll just put some sealant on these edges inside here, and then put it in. So if we ever have a, an issue, we can always take it back out. We had an accident. We can still use all the bits that we've put so much time into. And uh, yeah. So there we are, and you can see this is solid aluminium top mounts, and uh, that is super, super strong right now. But we're not using the coilovers now, we're going with the original suspension setup, which is what the Millimigian Super 7s do. But we've made all this in two, two mil steel. So there you go, that's where we are so far. Yeah, this, this is uh, typical of minis. Uh, Amir's just put this door on. We're going to take the skin off and put. We've got two new skins there, so we'll re-skin both doors. 
it's a trap car, but I want it right. So he's put this door up with second hand edges and everything, put the new A frame in or the A panel in, and it fits unbelievably perfect. Now, typical because it's a track day car, yeah. it fits, and there's no virtually no fettling to do. And as you can see, all the way around, it's perfect. Isn't that typical? And there, as you can see. Now, if, we, if this was a road car, it'd be an absolute bugger, and we'd have to fettle it. Yeah. But it's always the way, so, um, yeah. But we will take it off, as you can see, the bottom of the door there, it's got, but it's quite scabby, isn't it, on the bottom? There's a few here and there. And it looks like somebody's put under seal on it or something. I don't know what they've done. I would imagine up the top here it's not great either. There's going to be loads of filler in it, which we'll show you. But we'll put new, we'll put new door skins on anyway. But I mean, look at the fit on that door. <laughs> Unbelievable. And even here, I've never seen one as good as that. That's normally well out. Yes. <laughs> but there you go. So that's, that's what's going on. So, yeah. Uh, so just to show you how this looks in here, so you can see that obviously there's no uh, gusset across there anymore, but this is 2mm steel, so is this, so is the new inner wing, so it's absolutely, absolutely solid. We did that originally because we were, I was going to have coilovers, which we're not going to have now, this will just be the main, we will have um, uh, really top end shocks though, um, but we're going to go with the original set up as I was speaking to uh, to Mark and Keith uh, from Bolt and uh, they, they even said that Nick Swift who, who races these cars and builds them um, said that the, the suspension as long as you go for the top end um, kind of racing suspension go with the original setup it works so you know so that's what we're going to do yeah and to finish up um, Okay, I'm just putting these on to the bonnet. So these are the clips I bought at IMM from uh, Archangel, I think it was. Oh, and while well, saying that, um, my bonnet uh, lifter or front lifter has, uh, has turned up after about uh, two and a half, three, two and a half months. Well, since since the I gave them the money at IMM, and they came about a week ago, ten days ago, something like that. It's unbelievable the time it's taken. So, this carbon fibre front, already the holes drilled in it, so where they are is basically where I've got to go, um, because they were already pre-drilled. Um, so what I'm going to do, what I've done here to get them even, uh, to get them symmetrical, because, you know, everything looks on the eye, to measure it here, here and here, I had to move the holes, very, open the holes slightly, and you can see that's the same there. So now I'll put these two on, which will go this way because I need the flatness and this has obviously had buckles on it or something there I suppose I think imagine that was a bolt a bonnet strap of some kind but we can fill that and we certainly don't need the badge on it so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to fit these up and these are they how they come and then what I can do then is mark inside exactly where they have to go to on these clips so I want them obviously nice and tight. And they're three mil for these bolts. Uh, three by 16. They don't need to be that long, but they're quite tiny. And at my age, it's very hard to pick up stuff that's that small. Anyway, so there we are. I'll show you when it's uh, done. As you can see, I've got the, the bonnet clips in there. It's just, just held up on there. So we won't actually mark these and, and put the rods in until this front is on. So we've got to put the A panels in place first. So, because I want to make sure this position in here on the front it's, it should be no problem, but I, I want to make sure that this position is right and we need the A panels in um, and the um, also the A post covers they've got to come and they probably won't be here till the end of the week or the start of next week. So we'll put them in, once all the metal work's done, got the scuttle in, and then we can fit this. We've got to do a little bit of shaving in the corners, and it's, but it's fitting really quite nicely. So I just wanted to show, uh, Alex Hart from the DGSE asked me about these, making these rods. 
Um, so basically what we've done is instead of welding them, I'll take this front off and show you. Excuse me for a second. So, as you can see with these fronts, and not, I've seen a lot of the guys, what they do is they weld them on, but I thought rather than do that, uh, I would actually put them on um, with a, a nut bolt, so basically you can just twist them into position. The reason I thought I could do that is, is if, if they needed to be turned slightly, just not making the hole bigger. Um, the only the screw up I did make with them though, I didn't think about it at the time, the thickness of the subframes is quite, um, is, is not that much. And uh, what I did was, instead of putting a, um, a bolt in, or a set screw, a set screw really is a, a thread right down to the, to the bottom, um, I put a bolt in it that had a, a, shank, a shaft on it, a shank on it there, you can probably see. So what that meant is, is now we're going to have to, if I'd have put that thread deeper into it, but I wanted to use the head and put it because it would fit perfectly inside the diameter of that, or the ID of that. So I wanted to use that to make sure it was square, um, what I should have done. So if you're doing something like that, make sure you put the thread deep enough in. And basically, it's just a, just a piece of tubing, but it's been welded and that flat has been welded to it. So you can basically take this off if it was damaged or just turn it slightly if it was slightly out of slightly out of way. And it's just a piece of tubing. What we will do is once it's all uh, finished is we'll put sponge behind the uh, just turn this up. So just turn this up. And again, it's quite easy to change if we have to. What we will do is put a nice bit of round sponge here on both sides so when the front is fitted on um, it has something to sit up against and probably where uh, uh, the where the, the, the tubulars go through I might use a steel washer and, um, and nut and bolt it and wash it either side so there's no wear on the, on the carbon fibre it's actually on the metal if it should rattle or anything like they shouldn't do because we should put a spring on it and there is no need to really fit anything into it because it shouldn't flex in and out because it's attached here on the top. But we'll see about that. We'll see once we're actually using it and see if there's any vibration. If there is, it would just be a matter of drilling a hole in there and putting a pin through it. So that's the that's how things look at the moment. So we'll get this finished up, cleaned up, ready to go in. The A panels are ready to, to, to go in. And the A the A pillar covers is what we're really waiting for from from mini spares. Once we get that, uh, we're pretty much right on with the welding. We can then put it back onto the jig, uh, turn it upside down, and cut all the vent holes because this has got oversaws on it, and they have been put in very well. I have to say the welding is very good. Um, and uh, um, we'll cut all the all the vents, all the uh, holes in it to make sure it can vent and it's not uh, keep trapping water inside it. Uh, so all the flutes will be open. There's only one opened at the moment, and we'll, but we will open all the flutes. I've done them this way because this is too much of an angle here for this to get the body nice and flat. So um, yeah, and. Uh, and maybe just fill that, don't need a bonnet strap on it, certainly don't need a badge, but maybe, we'll see. But yeah, looking good, nice spacing. I had to deal with the holes that we had, so what we'll have to do now is, when we go through, we'll mark um, where they need to be. The only holes uh, we need to drill is in, this, in these two gussets here on either side. Um, on here, what we'll do is I'll make two uh, aluminium triangles, uh, one either side, just put some strength in it so it doesn't rip. Um, although, thinking about it, unless the actual aluminium is screwed to that, it's not really going to give it much. Uh, we'll see how we get on. I think I'll probably end up putting triangular bits in it. 
um, and sandwich that in between. We'll see how much padding it needs. It's obviously been worked on there as well. Okay, and to finish up, I've just put these screws in now to hold this in. So, uh, um, I've got I've made some mistakes there, so I'm going to weld those back up again. But everything else is nice and tight. It's absolutely solid now. So, and the next job we're getting on with is this button. A new door skin on this side and same on the other side. We won't show you that because you can look back, there's uh, plenty of videos we've done. Of, uh, Amir and I did a video on reskinning these and using the skinning tool. So, uh, and there's lots of them out there. So I think we need to reiterate that. So yeah, there we go. Um, so, um, get the other door done. Um, I'm waiting for some stuff, uh, some A pillar covers for or left and right hand side from mini spares and also the uh, solid uh, rear subframe mounts. I'm going to take off my beige car and put rubber ones back on the beige car and put the solid ones on this because we want it solid obviously. And that's where we are uh, up to today. Um, yeah, so everything's looking good. There's the old door skin. You can see. It was pretty. It wasn't that bad considering some I've seen. It wasn't, wasn't that bad. It was getting pretty crappy up there though. And definitely down the bottom. Yeah, it was rotted through on the bottom. It just isn't worth repairing these on a panel like that. It isn't worth repairing just cutting off the bottom and doing it. It's it, they never look right, and uh, in, you know, in certain lights you can see them terribly, so you're better off with the skin if you can afford to do it. If you can't, obviously, in your budget. And, but to be honest, the amount of work and hours and, and filler and everything you'd put in that and welding, it's just as quick with the, with the whole skin. And they do rot where the, where the contact points are, they, they tend to rot pretty badly. Anyway, so that's it. As usual, stay safe, keep your faith, enjoy your hobby. And will you bring you back when, uh, and there's the top, we'll bring you back when we've got some more work done on this. So, uh, be good to each other. Bye for now.